Supernatural podcast. This week's episode, the Executioner's song. <laughs> and maybe that was reference to uh, Timothy o- Omanson. That was this guy's name. I just yeah. looked at it and you I don't just remember. Looked at it. Timothy yeah. Omanson's uh, Gallivant thing. They had the Executioner's song. Yeah. yeah. It was funny seeing him in this after watching Gallivant because I can't get King Richard out of my head now. <laughs> Especially when he comes back on Supernatural looking exactly like he does yeah, as King Richard. Hair. Yeah, Right, because yeah. I mean, he's not going to change it for a one-off appearance on Supernatural, but it's still funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gallivant was ten times better than anything on Supernatural lately anyway. Mm. <laughs> best thing we've ever seen him in too <laughs> yeah yeah oh my gosh stupid indian jesus <laughs> can't get over how useless he was on xena holy crap the audience will get none of this unless they've seen xena but i'm sure they hated him too if they saw it yeah a lot of them probably don't even remember that was him if they did yeah. see it remember useless indian jesus on xena that was him <laughs> It's completely his fault, right? (laughs) Yeah. Because that character is pulled out of his butt. Ah, (laughs) Why did I make the stupid butt joke? (laughs) It's funny because he does that in this episode when Crowley's looking around. He's like, where's Kane? Where's Kane? (laughs) And then Kane appears and goes, your butt! (laughs) You're in my butt? <laughs> he started playing some comedy music. <laughs> then he sang a little song about how dumb Castiel was. Some of this stuff, I was just like, the lines were so bad, I could see them making fun of it on Galavan, just how over the top and like, like, like over dramatic dumb it is. Like, they had some comedy stings in it, or it sounded like a comedy sting, but then it wasn't. Like, mm-hmm. they had when they're like, Crowley, you gotta help us because you're on Kane's hit list. And it goes, yeah, it goes on forever. So you think that it's gonna be like he's gonna say something dumb and then like wah wah, but then he doesn't. I think Dean like rolls his eyes on the phone for some reason <laughs> because the dramatic pause. I don't yeah. know. It's like, <laughs> so uh, what was the plot of this episode? Uh, Crowley hasn't been turned into the biggest wiener in the universe enough quite yet so they continue it with him trying to rule hell from his stupid little earth basement for no reason still and then he's like oh i'm such a good guy i guess i'll do the thing you say to this demon who's i don't know asking for too much what was he doing he was whining because he wanted promotion or he wanted he he wanted wanted credit for the stuff that he did and then Uh, like he wanted credit and clearly if you succeed that means you should die in cat in crowley's domain well because he was whiny about it and he was kind of tr- making crowley into a pushover which he is to be so, fair to prove he's not a pushover he lets himself <laughs> be a pushover to his mom <laughs> to be fair to his mom all the demons in hell are just like oh why are we being mistreated in hell and it's kind of stupid like it's like mm, guys this this is hell. He's supposed to be a little. I mean, they're, they're like you know, hell's yeah. basement on earth. But at least <laughs> he is the king of hell. I mean, he could do some scary things once in a while. But he's just like, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna play some yeah. games on the phone. Crowley somehow overthrew Lucifer's like um, reign or whatever after he got taken care of. So you think Crowley could intimidate demons? Because he must have taken over somehow, right? But nah. <laughs> He's just playing games on his phone while his mom's like, Oh, you were a fat child. Yeah. Quit so telling he's just them like... I was fat, ma'am. <laughs> When he's gonna, t- when he's talking to this demon, his mom's like, "You should really just cut his head off and shove his balls down his throat and <laughs> leave them everywhere for all the demons to go." Oh my God, Crowley can do stuff. Like, I assume he'll throw them in like a flower bag and annoy <laughs> the Italian restaurant upstairs. Why is he going to keep throwing the demons in the flower bag? <laughs> He's really proven to me how annoying he is. <laughs> He's going to ruin the Mario's pizza. 
Yeah, his even, mom kind of turns into Steffi because I don't do an Irish accent. <laughs> even the pizza people aren't scared of Crowley. Even the Italian restaurant upstairs is just <laughs> like, ah, oh, the stupid king of hell. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> A fucking wiener. <laughs> they had that yeah. bit. I loved it when um they have the bit at the end when uh, Dean's got to go face off against Kane, and then he's like, you know, whatever comes out, you gotta you gotta get rid of whatever comes out and take care of it. And then Crowley's like, happy to. And then they have sort of this meaningful shot of him yeah, for, like I don't know, he betrayed him or something. Yeah, you know, like they love each other. I guess. Yeah, it was more a loving best change. friends. Like, <laughs> like putting Crowley in that situation just highlights what they've done wrong with his character. Uh huh. It, it highlights what they've done wrong with this show because, like, I don't know what the hell they're doing with Crowley anymore. I don't know what they're doing with any of their good guy team. But it's like you got the King of Hell as a sort of buddy to the good guys like why has this ever happened <laughs> <laughs> well they um if they want crowley to go in this direction they should have really changed his character after that um sam trying to cleanse him of being a demon yeah thing. but it's, it wasn't clear enough of a transition no. to, to be like he's a good guy now or he's yeah and he it. needs to not be the king of hell if you want to go there yeah yeah <laughs> He's just sort of sitting around bored and whining. I mean, it's not really a, a good guy arc. No. Of course, I mean, our good guys have been on a bad guy arc anyway. It, it just seems confused because it has had, like, touches of maybe that's where they're going. It's going to be a good guy arc, but they never go anywhere with that mm -hmm. even. It's just kind of playing it safe in the middle, doing nothing, and feeling like you're wasting our time every time with it. It's, it seemed like they were doing a bit of uh, damage control in some of the dialogue to pretend like it was like that all along. Like when he's like, oh, mom, I knew that you were playing me, but I, I'm not that stupid. Mm. And then she's like, who cares? Because we had fun, right? Uh, it was fine. So I guess <laughs> they're, he's like, oh, you manipulated me, but mom time. I don't know, like, it's sort of halfway, like, okay, so he's just an idiot, is what it is, yeah. so he knows, but then he's going with it anyway. I... But when he's gonna go out and play with Sam and Dean, his mom's like, They're bad influences, Crowley, I told you, don't go play with them! And you knew for some reason he was gonna end with them betraying Crowley, oh, which yeah, would be a so big shock. Oh, yeah, they lied to him. Yeah. Like, I could see that coming forever. It's just like, either they'll try to stab him with the first blade after he brings it, or they won't give it back to him, and they didn't give it back to him. So then, of course, he comes back, like, eh, they betrayed me, Mom. I'm going to listen to you now. I should have always listened to you, so you can betray me. But I'll betray you first, Mom. Oh, but I'll betray you, Crowley. <laughs> betray, betray, betray. Just a series of boring betrayals. But, yeah, this, this he arc just knew that was going to end with him. Oh, well, listen to you now, Mom. It's really... Of good. course. <laughs> yeah. I hate seeing those obvious turns coming. Because <laughs> it's just it's just set up to do that and nothing else. Uh, this was just a whole heap of who cares, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, some of Kane's speeches were okay because he's a good actor, but it's it he's a working good actor, with but crap. it's just tired. Like I, I well, really that's what I mean. Like he's working with crap. Like <laughs> well, his motivations didn't make any sense. He's he's going to kill all of his descendants because, because they have his des blood or something. Descendants of Cain are apparently more likely to be killers. So it was some warped idea of doing a favor for the world. Yeah, but it wasn't a very good motivation, I guess. No, really. it, it felt like it came out of nowhere, which it did. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't a satisfying conclusion. conclusion of the character. Even if it's not a conclusion, it wasn't a satisfying return. No, Because, not like, really. the, that, the idea is just fine, but it was just sort of seen whole hum That's who what cares. Supernatural does. They keep having um, some ideas that might work, but they always take care of them in an episode, and it just feels weak. Yeah. Because it's just, oh, we got to rush this in. Hey, anyway, here's Kane. He's back. Oh, we got rid of him because we can't really use the actor anymore because he's on Calvin. I don't know if that's it, honestly. I think I it's think just it that... probably is. He's probably more busy now that he's on a successful show. Yeah, but the show's, like, the season's yeah, done. Yeah, but it still makes him busy. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. A successful show. Like that's, that. that's true. It might be he didn't want to come back, but I, it well, just feels like... They knew they like weren't going to have that much access to him, you know? Well, so, think, think about like, it this we way. we got him back and we'll do our finish with him. Think about it this way, though. Supernatural always does that, though, when it's like they kind of, like, do a quick, unsatisfying conclusion to something, like, to just sweep it out of the way for whatever boring stuff they're doing in between. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing like when they get a better idea for a one-off episode than their whole season's arc is. Mm -hmm. Like Zeus and shit. Like, oh man, that'd be awesome. Uh, it's just one-off and never see them again. We took care of Zeus. <laughs> well, they don't know how to do um, character you think is good, but they relapsed or went to the other side or whatever. They don't know how to do that very well because they, granted with Kane. At least it wasn't unforeseen. I'm sure they did plan this, or at least it, it seems planned. You know, like, he was a good guy, but then he fell back into being bad. Well, yeah, but it's kind of like he was bad, but then he he controlled himself, so he made himself kind of good for a while. But, yeah, mm -hmm. then you then just he, dumped he shows... on you that he's bad again. This yeah, one. and they tend to do that a lot, where they're just like, oh, this character was good? Just kidding, they're bad, now they're dead. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, that wasn't very satisfying, was it? You didn't have any real transition there. You didn't have any, you know, because I got what they were doing with, like, Dean was like, tell me, you know, that you can you can stop and that, you know, I don't have to do this and all that. Well, th there could have been more of a struggle with that through the season rather than, like, with Kane as well. Yeah. Rather than just like, mm, well, oh well. Well, yeah, Kane's such a big thing, like, I understand they probably couldn't have done it now, but if Kane seems like an idea that should have been a season arc thing, you know, like they made such a big deal out of him. Dean is stuck with the mark of Kane, mm -hmm. and for you to just take care of him in a one off episode just feels a little asinine. They didn't show him killing him, though you heard it, so it seems like there's something to that a bit, maybe. I don't know. I won't be surprised. Maybe they're leaving it open for them if they want to, but yeah, that I get seems the to be what they're doing. He's probably dead. I mean, you heard the <laughs> squish, so it's not like they're saying Dean spared yeah, him. Yeah, no, they definitely stabbed him. But yeah, they're maybe leaving it open that he survived it. I don't like that they explain the horribly beat over the head theme to you anyway like it wasn't the most obvious thing in the world like he's like you're living my life in reverse it will end with you killing your brother which mm -hmm. is what i've been calling since like last season mm -hmm. or at least him attempting i mean obviously the mark of cain thing two brothers whatever but that's, they don't have to explain it to you but that, that's not really been a theme of this whole season either so that comes out of nowhere to have returned Every, this is probably one of the better seasons in a while for the brothers being not against each other. Mm -hmm. Most of the other seasons are like, meh, 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 meh. Well, Yeah, I was getting really tired. That's why some of the standalone episodes have been better this season because they're not mopey with each other mm -hmm. constantly. And they've been better in characters sometimes. <laughs> um, Castiel got to be involved with Castiel the plot was time. not better written this episode. Holy fuck, he was stupid. <laughs> they had another fucking torture scene. Castiel's jumping on the yeah. torture train Castiel, now. like, oh, I missed it last season. I need to get in on this torture stuff. Yeah, great. I don't understand what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, neither of us could recall Castiel doing torture before, right? Yeah, well, if... If, if he did, he did. It's, <laughs> it's been quite a while. A Regardless, it, it doesn't matter if he had he before or not. Be he shouldn't be. Yeah. Regardless, like he killed, he just killed a demon. Granted, it's a demon, uh -huh. but he tortures and kills a demon. Which a guy is in there. Certainly, as an angel, he couldn't cast the demon out or something. Yeah, he used to do that. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I know he's borrowing some juice, but he just kills the guy. And then he goes to Kane, burying all these bodies. He's like, this is a massacre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just kill the dude in the scene before. Yeah, you're, you're killing people, too. <laughs> like, you got no room to talk, talk there. <laughs> yeah, it was the same thing I've always complained about the show. At one point, that mattered. But at some point, they seem to have completely forgotten demons have human hosts <laughs> that they're using. It's like, we don't care about saving anyone anymore. <laughs> Did he use the angel blade to kill the demon? I think so. Isn't that just supposed to be to kill angels? I don't know. I like, why would he even... He wouldn't need it for no, a demon, No, I think right? that kills demons. 
Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. They've used it like that before. Yeah, they have. Which is, you know... But one thing it can't kill, I don't think, is Kane, because part of this whole episode was we need to get the first blade to take care of Kane. And then when Castiel's hunted Kane down, who can just jump, cut, teleport away anyway, so I don't really know how you track someone whose pattern can just be erratic all over the world. I guess, well, I mean... It doesn't hurt to try to track them down. No, like, them. you'd need to find some way to get them to come to you, though, if it's someone that can bounce around the world. It seems kind of silly. Because, mm. I mean, he only found Kane because Kane came back. Mm. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess if you stand around one of Kane's murder sites, he might come <laughs> talk to you. <laughs> it's a, but anyway, when Castiel doesn't like how their conversation is going, he does that little out of the sleeve thing with the angel blade, and oh, then yeah. he jump cuts away. It's just like, what were you gonna do there, Castiel? Tickle him? <laughs> like, what the fuck? You know that doesn't kill him. <laughs> You've already been talking about the first blade. It's like, ugh. <laughs> They're so stupid <laughs> to do that. And Castiel, once he's involved with the plot, which. Granted, I'm happy he wasn't calling on the phone or doing dumb angel stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but he's immediately flung aside by Kane into, like, a, a pen somewhere. A popcorn pen. Yeah. <laughs> no, popcorn! <laughs> and then when they're going to get, um, they're trying to get Kane, they have to challenge him to a basketball game to determine That's who exactly is going to win. That's exactly what I wanted to have. Because <laughs> <laughs> they talked about getting Kane and that cut to some kids playing basketball. <laughs> and I was just like, I want them to challenge Kane to basketball. <laughs> and Sam will be, they'll think Sam's their ace in the hole, but then Sam really sucks. And they'll be like, wait, Crowley's really good. <laughs> He's like flinging the ball between his legs as he's in the air doing slam dunks. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting some hoops. I've, <laughs> I've been doing this longer than you have. Kane's like, what? Oh, I never saw this coming. Why is he so good at basketball? <laughs> <laughs> because I have mommy issues. And then his mom will be like, the, the kid's going to break up, Castillo. You can't live through basketball forever. <laughs> I thought she was going to ground him. By the end, <laughs> she's just like, You're their bitch! Oh, you're hanging out with hunters! Like, oh, okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> he's in trouble with Mab. <laughs> so dumb. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing but com comedy angle to this storyline. And I, I know that's not the intention. I know some of it's meant to be funny. Yeah. But it's not, they they're not doing it very well. more comedy element to their stuff like they used to. Like, well, no, they need to have comedy to the rest of the show, but to the big bad storyline when they got the, the mom, you know, Rowena, manipulating Crowley, that should have some more weight to it than they're putting into it. Well, yeah, that just feels silly to be it, happening. Because, <laughs> I mean, I realize some of the comedy in that storyline is intentional, but it, it can't be all of it. I just mean, it. like, the characters, though, they, they get really bland when they used to have a comedic edge to them, even when they're in serious situations, like yeah. the main characters, which yeah. is one of the problems I find with the show now, is just they get, oh, black, I don't think it was as bad in this episode, because they, you know, they were doing some yeah, but when they got to, related stuff. But. When they got to their speeches with Kane, they didn't bounce anything off him, you know? Yeah. It just got really blandy. Mm -hmm. Also, I hate that Castiel would just shoot his blade out of his sleeve, obviously, <laughs> at him. Like... The point of a concealed blade is to sneak attack, but if you just shoot it out into your hand in front of someone, you're not sneak attacking them. Like, even if he had a blade that could hurt Kane, he's being a fucking moron by going, Look at this! Oh, no. Like, you fucking get close, and then you fucking just go at his neck with it, if it could do anything, which he knew it couldn't. <laughs> So many problems with him doing that. <laughs> I had more problems with the torture scene that seemed so 
uncalled for, even well, in everything their... Everything he's done this episode was uncalled for. <laughs> well, I mean, even even with all of the torture that's been going on that's unnecessary, this seemed particularly unnecessary, because this wasn't even that intense of an episode until the end. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the beginning of it, he's just looking for him, and he's been looking for Kane for a while. It didn't seem like it warranted the torture, nor did he seem like in an emotional space where it seemed like something he would do. Especially when they called attention to the fact there's been too much torture with that Felicia Day one. Mm -hmm. When she made the joke about the torture, it seemed like the show had, was um, self-aware about it at this point. That they'd done too much torture last season. But then they just go back to it. <laughs> Feels like a real step back. A lot of things in this episode did. Mm -hmm. I don't know who was doing the music in this episode either. There were like. Dean was. Dean was. Well, whoever was da, doing da, it. Da, 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 da. There was some. There was some nice bits of music in it. Like um, I think near the end they played like this little piano tune. I liked all right, but like there was some. <laughs> there were some music cues that seemed off. Like there was like a. Dun, dun, when it didn't really warrant it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what part that was at, but I recall it was poorly timed. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. It was very uneven with that. But I guess that's just a nitpick. O overall, uh, it was because they were getting back to the story of the season. I think that's why it was downhill. <laughs> and the, the main story, again, it's like it feels like you've taken care of the more interesting thing by throwing it aside and not doing a proper story with it and now you're moving on to the oh boy Crowley and his mom crap <laughs> like that's not big that doesn't feel like anything that's major season arc worthy well i think like, like who the fuck cares <laughs> i think it's gonna be like it was last season where it's kind of split with two near the end because what's I think, the other thing well i think demon dean is gonna come back near the end and try to kill sam and that's what they're leading up to Otherwise, yes. I, mean, I, th I mean, I think that's supposed to be their kind of payoff for the Demon Dean storyline, which we haven't really seen yet. I think it's going to be that, and then Rowena is going to be killed off like Abaddon. I mean, none of that seems that interesting. <laughs> no, but I think that's what they're doing. It uh -huh. really does seem what they're leading up to. It's really boring. <laughs> <laughs> like, again, it's just bad, bad major season hurts for this show. Because it bear they don't feel like that's a theme to this season. Because it felt kind of like it was a theme to last season that he'd kill Sam or something. Yeah, I thought that's what they were going to end with. And honestly, yeah. I would have been perfectly fine with that. <laughs> I would have been fine if that was the end of the show. Because I, I, I was so beyond caring at that point. And Wait, it's, they were it's just a little better now, but... Like, honestly, I, I don't know. I don't think I would really care about any ending of the show right now unless it was Adam. Mm -hmm. Being the big bad. Otherwise, I don't. Yeah. I don't think I would care if both of them died. Fucking do season ten, Adam. Like that's eleven. Eleven. Oh, fuck. Too many. <laughs> too many seasons. Too many seasons. Eleven. Adam, get him fucking after them <laughs> as the big bad. It'd be so amazing. Ugh. Just these pitiful season arcs are terrible. Pitiful everything. It, all it has going for it right no, now it, is it, okay filler. Yeah, but then the better ideas for fillers than their main season, but because they're fillers, they're done too quick. Like I hate that the show keeps doing that. They're 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 decent. I don't I don't think fillers are bad usually, but they're not anything. Well, that it's because would... they're fillers that they're not that satisfying. You know, sometimes there's fillers that are good. They used to do fillers that they're were really good. fun that I could you know you could recommend like no. Mystery Spot was a good filler episode. Yeah, things I'm just like talking that. about ones that would be better though if they'd been the major season arc rather oh, than a I filler. See. I see. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. They do, yeah. They do come up with better season arc filler ideas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, this episode was it wasn't terrible, but it was I don't know, it was meh. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend pretty, it really, yeah. except for the like, Kane's performance. Yeah, Kane was good, but it's unsatisfying with him. Yeah. Just even then, I don't know if I'd even recommend it for that, because he did some good speeches, but that's just because the actor's good, but he had nothing to work with. Mm -hmm. It's turning crap into 
slightly less crap. Because yeah. <laughs> if he is a worse actor, it would have been just terrible. <laughs> I hope he turns into Indian Jesus in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and they he turns have a into King game. Richard and he's like, your butt! <laughs> I want the season to end with the basketball game to, to see who controls heaven or hell. <laughs> Find out Kane was King Richard the whole time. <laughs> da, da, da. Yep. yep. Five out of ten. ten. <laughs> I, that's that's a little generous. I'll give it a two out of ten. <laughs> End. <laughs>